Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man and Aluminum Turkey Fryer channel. Man, that's good right there. Cool. The truck is not empty, except for some random firework that fell in the back. This is an aluminum kind of day. Sweet. this trash can kind of quickly so I just looped around are people being intentional about giving us scrappers scrap that's awesome that's a good NEMA connector right there I, I am liking this neighborhood better and better you know it's the little things that that matter and this resident puts out just a little bit of scrap Thank you. Seriously. Like that uh, cord. You know, it's just, it's just one thing. But you know, every little bit counts and they separated it from their trash. I don't know if you can see that in my rear mirror though. Yeah, even the weeds. There's purple flowers and white and yellow flowers. Yeah. Oh, we got a score. What is that? Is that a fender? Is that a car door? Is that plastic? <laughs> it is plastic. You tricked me. This isn't plastic, though. Ooh, that's a bit heavy. With it all bundled together, it's going to take a little effort. <laughs> Sometimes I just got to stretch, and because I, I know it's not going to be easy. Did I sound cynical? Actually, I, I don't think I'm actually a cynical person at all. Because so many things just are in my favor almost all the time. You know, even, even if I take the spirituality out of it, you know, which I usually don't. <laughs> I got it made. Thanks. Thanks, God. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't really take the spirituality out of it. It's, um, I'm just blessed and happy and things are, things are good. Even when they're bad, they're good. What's up, Dalton? So I forgot my water bottle at my house. So I picked that up. I dropped off the two aluminum pieces, that aluminum, I'm guessing it's a turkey fryer. Um, I don't know, it looks like a bucket to me. I might, I might just keep it as a bucket. But I got a text from the G-Man. He said there's some parts of a drum set over here. So we're headed over there. We should be there in four minutes. Yeah, he's right. Those are parts of a drum set. Hopefully they're not trashed. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. That one, you know what? I'm gonna take this part, this leg. If I can. Mm. 
this actually I think would match. Ooh, yeah. No. Yeah, these are these are too tattered. They're too thrashed. Too thrattered. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's close. It's yeah, there's a lot of wood there, so I'm not gonna take it to my scrapyard. Really, dude? Any other drum pieces? Close. Close. Wait. Actually, we'll take that part. I bet it's aluminum. Nope. That's steel. Nice trailer. If it's rusty, it's metal. Excellent. With that wood, I'm not dealing with the glass. You look significantly metal. You look dangerous. It's a mirror. Mirror. <laughs> That's a weird word. I want to say mirror, like the space station. But also, when I say mirror, it just sounds weird. I see some aluminum brickage. Hmm. Probably over there. One's slipping. Ooh, that's close to falling. <laughs> Thanks, folks. You're awesome. What do I see here? Aluminum? That's not. <laughs> I think that is not aluminum. It might be. I don't know. It is aluminum. All right, that'll go into the breakage. That rocks. Am I having a mirage? Is that like the biggest refrigerator ever? Pretty big. Get into my truck. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Actually, it it doesn't work, but it's gonna work. Hey, that ain't bad at all. Snap Tool 2024 Beta. Up. 
There we go. Wouldn't be prudent. That was loud. Sorry. This one's kind of heavy. I just now realized that <laughs> their door's open. <sighs> it's not quite what I wanted to do. <sighs> oh, it's bolted on, isn't it? Garbage man will pick that up. Is that a train or is that a Cadillac honking the horn? Cadillac's always had the loud horns. Trucker's hitch, probably. Gotta start your engine. See how it's like a right turn. Good. It looks like steel. Oh yeah. Hey, it's all wrapped up. It's gonna get me tripped up. <laughs> One piece at a time, I guess. I'm gonna have to break out the other rope. All right, let's try to do this this time. Cool. Wow. 
Wow, that was close. I didn't see that falling. So it's a Smackomatic 5000 series swing set. Nice. Yeah, let's not tempt fate. garden yeah that's my buddy's garden he uh he gave me a it was a cucumber i don't know 15 pounder last season rufus is upset he's like get out of here scrap man i'm not sure if i want it too tangled up Taking the scrap out of the truck, it can become problematic. Cool. We're filling up this morning. I like it. That's a water softener system over there. I'm not going to grab that. Wait a minute. Is that copper? What? Oh, yes, it is copper. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, that's, that might, might be a pound. Yeah. It is such a nice day. <laughs> yeah, this thing just wants to come off right now. I guess they're bolted on. But yeah, it's super nice out. The humidity has really dropped. And that's what kind of takes my breath away. Oh, all right, here, I want to go up where are you? Oh, rush water. Things are wanting to argue with me. With rust water. I think I left enough room there, didn't I? like a bungee cord only more dangerous <laughs> I don't think get more dangerous bungee cords really want to take me out This might be one of the smallest water heaters I've dealt with. How many gallons is it? Hmm. Where's the gallonometer? 40 gallons. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that small. Wow. Hey, that's my magnet. There's no easy way of taking that off without breaking out the tools. Aluminum.
putting stuff in there, but not sure how it's gonna stay secure. Man, those doves, they're singing away. water heater. I think we're going to redo some stuff here. Yes, we are. Hi, good morning. Enjoy the day. You too. You picked this up for the metal? Yes. Wait, I always see people do that. What, so what happens? Where do you go with that? How does that work? I just wonder. Awesome question, yeah. So regular st scrap steel like this is eight cents a pound at the scrap yard. So um, I'll sell it to them. This will probably be $50 worth. Okay. And they take it through and put it through a massive shredder and then sell it to a mill and they melt it down and make up new metal things. Yeah, very recyclable. Well, there's three places. Um, there's DeKalb Iron and Metal, there's Zimmerman's Recycling, then there's B&O Scrapyard, which is also an, an auto parts like um, junkyard. Yeah, so anything metal. Yeah. Yep, yeah, see you later. Yeah, and I appreciate you guys taking the stuff to the curb. All right, enjoy the day. Wow, three stops on the same street. I'm digging it. Thanks, folks. All right, this thing's ready to attack. I can just tell. When scrap attacks. That's nice concrete. <laughs> Seriously. Nice scrap too. That looks brass. Brass or aluminum. Um, that's steel. That's very steel. Huh. I'm gonna tuck it away at. metal enough. Oh yeah, that's some good scrap. Some chicken war. How about some war? That's a drumstick. That looks like it's too wide. The standard pallets that I can sell to the scrapyard and other places are 48 by 40 or 40 by 40, however you wanna categorize it. Hey, a couple of yardsticks so I can show. This is supposed to be only 40 inches wide and 36 plus eight um so that would be 36 44 all right so was that 44 yeah 44 so it needs to be 40 so about there nice yardstick hey i see antlers Wait a minute. Did I just upgrade my coffee game? I might have, dude. Huh. A 
Okay. Yeah. I think you're getting tested out. And the reason why with so much stuff here that they're throwing away things that um, are probably good. Because it's a move out with a for sale sign. Yeah. That might be just fine. All right. Stay focused here. A couple of baskets. What is this stuff? Stuff that keeps the... This is standard something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it keeps weeds down or something. <laughs> not exactly sure what that is. Oh. I bet someone wants this. I bet it's for gardens and stuff. I know there's some goodies here. Antlers. So I just learned this, that antlers um, are not permanent. They come off every year. Yeah, that's... Uh, is this attached to something? Yeah. That's a bunch of antlers. Charlie Brown. a vase and glasses I don't really like glasses per se I like because then glass is dangerous can be so I tend to not do glass I'm just plastic cups <clears throat> coffee cups that's yeah, kitchen stuff all right, I guess I'm done here. It's kind of cool. It's a cartoon of some sort. All right, I think it's all metal. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little scary. That's why they zip tied it. missed it driving this way yep, yep, yep. it's coming with a charger so do you think it works the last time I tried something like this it didn't work but that has no bearing on if this one works or not though I just want to mix it up with the scrap because I'll forget it. Coffee maker. Yeah, this has to be metal. Yeah, I see rust. Oh, is that my new TV? What's up with these tables? Seriously. I like tables. <laughs> Definitely. Well, that's probably what's up with the table. They fall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this one doesn't lock into place. Okay. At least I know now. They look good, but if they're not good, they're not good. I might have to get a little creative over here with uh, my scrap. Yeah, and thanks for sending stickers. Yeah, I want to fill this just <laughs> full of stickers from you. From your channel or your business or your art. Hmm. 
I gonna have to go up and over with this? Yeah, it's not looking. Yeah, this is gonna get a little bit ugly. Ugly scrap. Yeah, I'm not even sure how this is gonna work. So it's all so fluffy. hook it around this water heater a little bit if I can get my arm under here other arm over here without it whacking and smacking me nope all right that didn't work I don't know kind of Same rope. And this is a busy little cul-de-sac. Hmm, yeah, this might not. Oh yeah, well. We're good. What's going on down here? Y'all working? Now I'm curious. What's going on down here? Oh, she's picking. Yeah, she's a picker. Oh yeah, cool. I don't blame her. I'm glad there's folks that do uh, picking and a lot of this stuff that is in the uh, on the curbside uh, gets repurposed instead of just junked in the landfill could it be any more awesome trash recycling and they separate this scrap y'all are awesome but y'all know that already Look at that. Right, I can put the scrap in there. Take the cords off. We will be good. Hmm. Need to get my workbench here. I think the tailgate might be the number one workbench in the world. Close enough. Horseshoes, hand grenades, and scrap. Close enough. What's up, crow? What? Four of them? Five? <laughs> I'm not gonna make the joke. A little something something. 
Is that gate broken? Because I kind of want a, a gate. Um, yeah, it's tore up. Yeah, I'm in the market for a, a baby gate, not for a baby, but uh, yeah, in between this one doorway, I want actually want to have two of them uh, to separate my dog and my cat. Hmm, you're a little bit away from the garbage, so I'm gonna check and see if it's flat tires. Yep, that's a flat. That one's not that flat. Oh, the brakes are messed up, so it doesn't even move. Okay, so now I know that it's trash. But speaking of trash, what all's in here? It looked promising for a sec. This is um. This be good to give to my new bike guy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not quite how it's supposed to work. Right there. What do you think? Yeah, this is definitely. Whoa. That's what I wanted to do. Hmm. Yeah. Let's ride the rail over here. Yeah, that front wheel's locked up. do this a little differently. We're gonna go through the back wheel. Okay, what do you what what item? It's like a big, like a metal trailer, like you would pull behind a lawnmower. Hmm. I'll bet I could fit it on here. You think? I think so. Probably about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a challenge. Thanks for flagging me down. Four by three. Ooh, four yeah. By two. Hmm. I can do it. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, do you want to get it out there so I'm not? Oh, there's nothing to do. <laughs> I just want to wreck your fence there. <laughs> there used to be a more fence. Okay. Oh yeah. Go ahead. If you can get it. All right. You got to keep the soccer ball though. <laughs> I didn't even know that was here. Uh, yeah. Cool, man. Right, right on. All right. Great. I'll take it from here. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we can do it. I think I shouldn't get, uh, yeah, too, uh, whatever the word for it is. Get this kind of out of the way. There's a guy with a bunch of bicycles next door. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if he's gonna uh, give me some bicycles. Right, let's make some room here. shouldn't put this any higher. <laughs> what do you think I should do? Should I go north of this guy? You ever get the giggles when you get some adrenaline? Like me hitting my leg just now made you, I mean, it hurt, but it just made me also kind of giggle. Hmm. All right, I think there's gonna be room. like a glove. I'm going to get the other rope. It's on the other side of the truck. <sighs> yeah, this little exercise. A little zone two cardio. Should I call it that? Street scrapping zone two cardio. Zone two cardio is when you're doing exercise that it's uh it kind of gets you winded, but you're still able to have a conversation, still able to talk, but it's still exercise. That's what this is. weave it through this bicycle to give give it even more stability this has turned out to be a pretty good scrap day I should do this more often guy's not gonna give me 
Give me any scrap over there. I was hoping. What's up, Eddie? Hi, How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah, that's yeah. I've been seeing you all over today. I know, yeah. I Dick Anderson's funeral home. They just painted the ceiling there. Now I'm over here. I drywalled the whole bedroom, bathroom, and closet here. Wow. Okay. Now I'm just painting it. I'm done. All right. And I got woodwork in the shop for this job. Okay. Are you um going to go to the gym today? I don't know. I'm excited yet. Okay. I'm so tired. Yeah. It's hard to go in with Nathan gone. Yeah. Cause yeah, you're like doubly busy now. Yeah. I know, and it never ends. People are still calling me. When are you going to start my house? Eddie, we want to get this house on the market. Yeah, yeah. There it's needs to be three of you, man. Just I clone would yourself. Just call it quits and just go to the union. No, no. no. Keep, keep doing your business, man. Keep being really? you. Yeah. Everybody thinks I have a great business, but it wears you out. Yeah, yourself. no, I get it, man. I get it. You know, that's why you need to do a vacation. You know, you haven't had a vacation in, what, a decade? Yeah, I never had a vacation. Never? I the two kids. I never had time. Okay, well, all right. So put a vacation on the schedule and stick to it. Because you need one of those, man. Seriously. But, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym today, man. I just need to Are tell you? somebody, you know, oh, just... Wait, what's one, Planet Fitness? No, no, no. I go to the, the Y. Oh, you go to the Y? Yeah. That's where my Christian goes. Yeah. Nathan used to go. Christian goes there. Yep. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. I'll see you, man. Yeah. I guess steel. What do you think? Yep. All right. Where are they going? Um, I'm not even sure if they're stackable. Are you stackable? Yeah. Huh. I have an idea. Whoa. It's like behind this. Tangle yet, dude. Yeah, like that. It's not gonna do it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Let's retie it down. Gotta make sure that it doesn't fall out. I know this would be the time that I should have bungee cords. I just can't do bungee cords because they're dangerous. Scrapping is dangerous, Paul. It can be. It's also a really good exercise. <laughs> it's a tripping hazard. Yeah, I'm listening to a Andrew Huberman podcast. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. If you get a chance, go to Andrew Huberman and on YouTube and his podcast. They're just they're just really good. A lot of health stuff. He's a he's um professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine. All right, so I want to bring that little scooter in here. Where's my copper bucket? There you are. Yeah, I want to get this plugged in to see if it charges. I'll bet it does even though I've not had one that has worked yet. All right. Oh, 
What's going on here? I'm getting confused. Man, what a good scrap day. Man, I've been, I've been wanting a good scrap day like this. But I've been having some uh, significant competition recently. Which is good for the, the big picture. Uh, definitely good for keeping stuff out of the landfill. All right. Where's the XLR going to get plugged into? Right here. I think so. All right, I see the notch. Is it on the bottom? Yep. All right. Cool. Looks like it's plugging in. All right, hopefully this thing, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. You like push it and then it goes, I think. That wheel might be all wore out. Uh, one thing, <laughs> this company, uh, Himaway, they approached me and they said, hey, Paul, we saw you made a video about a, a trike. Would you consider making a video about our bike? And I said, I will on one condition, is that if I can get a small moped kind of a bike that has a trailer to it, so I can haul around scrap. They said, no problem, we'll go ahead and do that. So, uh, yeah, so they, and they also sent me a helmet too. Do I have it here? No, it's at my house. Yeah, I have it at my house. They, um, so they sent me this bike, uh, and I'm gonna do an unboxing video of putting it all together and riding it around. Um, and, but they said their, their, uh, the trailer part is on back order. So it's supposed to be here later this month. Um, but I don't know, I'm probably going to put this bike together in the next few days. Um, and hopefully it won't be too boring. It's, uh, it's supposed to be a much smaller bike because, you know, the trike, that thing's, that thing's pretty big. Um, my, my cargo bike, it's massive. Um, and this thing is just a little... That's a little sporty little deal, but it's going to have a trailer for the back. I'm excited about that. So I'm going to have a trike and the, the cargo bike I bought a year ago. Um, but the company that they sent me that trike and this company sent me this, uh, him away. It's, um, an escape pro, um, it's a fat tire bike, but it's a little 20 inch bike. Um, yeah. So yeah, same size tires as those. But, uh, all right, so I'm gonna let that uh, charge up and let's go hit the scrap here. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that scrap load. I've missed big scrap loads like that. Hopefully it'll, it'll pay decent. Oh yeah, this bicycle I wanna give to my, my new bike guy, my bike couple. Yeah, I think they'll be able to do something with that. But I'll be seeing them this weekend because they have some scrap for me. My other bike guy, um, he does a 26-inch, um, um, and he puts a motor, an engine, uh, a little 50cc engine inside of bicycles, which this, this doesn't have enough room for it. So this wouldn't be good for him. But I'm going to see both of my bike guys uh, this weekend. Probably won't record it. But I, I got scrap to pick up from both of them, so I'm gonna give this to the bike couple. Uh oh, he's backing up. All right, I'm gonna go all the way down then. Oh. Right, no one coming. I think I can do this. Oh, he's trying to go to the scale. All right. The laws of gross tonnage applies. Big guy goes first. I don't think he's going to get the trailer onto the scale at that angle. I mean, he might. No, he's not. Yeah, he was able to uh, get on the scale. Like 78,000 pounds. That's so much. <laughs> Is that like almost 40 tons? All right, what kind of tonnage do we have here? 7,520. 
What? 75, man, I might have a thousand pounds on this truck. Maybe. That'd be cool. It's pretty much a straight shot. <laughs> Do you hear him? He's like, he has a sign on his truck and everything. Yeah, and the main reason for that is I want the homeowners to know what I'm up to when I'm digging through their trash. All right, I'm going to back up about 10 more feet and you know what? I'm gonna untie this and then back up about 10 more feet. Sit down, sit down. Let me tell you a tale, let me tell you a story. Right now, right now, there's a wandering ghost and she's coming for me. So loud, so loud. Sound of a mental memory can't count, can't count all the years that she's been gunning for me. And what if she hits this time? What if she makes her mark? Where will my future be? If she catches up with me, I wanted to run away, needed her to let me be. But now I see I was trying. to this so can I ever be free I need to know now what do you say I need your help now can you scare her away what if she hits this time what if she makes her mark where will my future be if she catches up with me I wanted to run away I needed her to See us trying and run But what if she hits this time? What if she makes her more? Where will my future be? If she catches up with me I wanted to run away Needed her to let me be but now I see us trying So loud, so loud I'm singing my song I'm a mental mori I don't know I'm gonna keep a couple of those chains For uh, my e-bike Yeah I think this guy's waiting for me We're waiting for the forklift I still have my tailgate down Because I couldn't get it up I couldn't get the tailgate back in the right position because there was scrap on top of it. One of the wheels from that trailer thing. I have no idea how much I weigh going out. Whew, it's getting hot. Yeah, I tossed the, uh, hey, what's happening? Sorry, didn't mean to pop out there. But yeah, yeah, what was I talking about? Tension deficit, <laughs> whatever I was talking about, it's gone now. Wait a minute, 
trailer looks empty. I guess I can't calibrate the scale. Do you think it was a thousand pounds? That'd be cool. Hello, Michael. Was it a thousand pounds? It was 920. Oh, Ooh, folks. man. I should have got that one other piece. I should have stayed out a little longer. Nice. <laughs> you doing good? Yeah, I'm all right. Dude, I'm thinking about doing the Mediterranean diet. What do you think about that? What's that? It's like all um, fresh food, um, but like low red meat and fish. I'm with it. All right. Yeah, I'm like really trying. Right I'm now. getting sick of Let's keto. See, there. All right, man. I'll see. You. Uh, we're waiting that trailer. That's not your scale. We got the title for it. What? Yeah. Bro, I want you. I want the trailer. Should I go uh, undermine Michael? Say, hey, man, I'll buy it for five dollars more than Michael will. Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding, God. No, we don't do shady anymore, God. That was my habit for a long time. And Lord, I still I still go in that direction sometimes. Sometimes my first thought is not good. But thank you for, uh, for giving me a fresh mindset and a mind. Thank you, God, for that. And I um, just thank you for this day. Thank you for energy. And thank you for the scrap. And thank you for the, the abundance. Um, I love you, God, with all my heart. In the name of Jesus, amen. Yeah, I'm looking forward to putting uh, one of those on my uh, on my e-bike. So 20, 40, 60, 73 bucks. 73 dollars and 60 cents for 920 pounds of scrap. Yeah, so 520 and I rolled out at 6,600. That makes sense. Man, it's a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me. You are awesome. Let's see if I can sneak up on Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Good morning. How you feeling? Hmm? You good? Hmm? Oh, I'm tired. It's been quite the day. How's your day going? Are you off today? I have an idea. Do you wanna go outside and go out and go potty, go for a walk, and then you're gonna eat a snack with some biscuits? Unless we see a kitty kitty and a doogie? Maybe after a nap.